There are some people who claim that if same-sex marriage is made legal, this will lead to polygamous marriage, or incestuous marriage, or marriage to children, or even animals. But they never explain how that's going to happen. And I don't think they can, because it doesn't make sense. None of these scenarios have anything to do with same-sex marriage. It's like saying that if we allow two people to get married, pretty soon there will be three people, or four people, or eighty people getting married to each other. Except we already allow two people to get married, and that just hasn't happened yet. It's like saying that if we let unrelated people get married, we'll eventually allow relatives to get married. But we already let unrelated people get married, and it hasn't happened yet. It's like saying that if we allow adults to marry other adults, then adults are going to start marrying children. Except we already allow adults to marry each other, and that hasn't happened yet. It's like saying that if we let people marry people, we'll have to let people marry animals, too. But we already let people marry each other, and that just hasn't happened yet. If you're going to argue against same-sex marriage based on the idea that it will lead to all these other scenarios, that argument is equally applicable to heterosexual marriage. Of course, that just means it's equally invalid, because these fears simply have not been borne out. If any of this was going to happen, it would have happened already, but it hasn't. That's why nobody uses this as an argument against heterosexual marriage, and nobody should use it as an argument against gay marriage either.